Happy Sunday, Wood Nation. This is Wifey. Hope y'all are doing well. It is hubby's turn to share the good news. Um, we had an awesome and phenomenal church service earlier today, and we really enjoyed volunteering. So now um, hubby will be sharing um, the good news. Wood Nation, what's going on, bros and bros? Look, just like wifey said, we had yet another phenomenal service. Our senior pastor, Pastor Marcus Johnson, did an awesome job. And we're continuing our series, man, which is Good Works. We're on week six. And the topic for the day was rest as rebellion. Rest as rebellion. And the pastor came for Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter, verses 12 through 15, and Exodus chapter five, verse six through 26. Bros and bros, let's dive in. All right, bros and bros. So one of the words that the pastor shared today was the word resistance, right? And he says this, the, the meaning of the word resistance is the refusal to comply with something. The refusal to comply with something, right? Now, resistance reveals, this is what he said, resistance re reveals. One of the things that it reveals is that sometimes it reveals that we aren't as free as we think we are. We aren't as free as we think we are. When we should be resting, relaxing, being obedient to God on the Sabbath day, sometimes these things get our attention, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes, let's be honest, some people have a, a bad habit of wanting to be accepted by any means necessary. Uh, they struggle with the word no. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. the best way to put it, right? They struggle mm -hmm. with the word no, because you can be off enjoying your Sabbath and then get a call from work and then there you go all right I'll come in right now we could resist that and says well no I'm sorry I'm off I'm spending time with my family uh, I'm resting I'm obeying God right yeah but we'll say yeah I'll come in now you can come in because you know the the need of acceptance uh, extra money whatever that is for you we may not be as free as we think we are right check this out the Sabbath will reveal whether or not you are free. The Sabbath will reveal whether or not you are free. Now, God has given us that command to rest on the Sabbath day. Our Sabbath is Sunday. Your Sabbath could be Thursday. Some people's Sabbath could be Wednesday. Whatever days that they are off or day that they are off, that day should be used for the Sabbath right but that need as I shared earlier to wanting to be accepted by any means necessary we tend to put the things of God and the Word of God what they call on the back burner and then we give in to the desire of acceptance right and oh yeah I'll come in anytime you need me I'm there I'm there I'm there right case in point bros and bros I actually just got a call today from work now the job that I do I deal with high crisis situations right the awesome part is I'm not the only one qualified and educated to deal with that situation so wifey was like no this is our Sabbath and she's absolutely right bros and bros it's not me ignoring work it's me obeying God and sometimes we need those friendly reminders right wifey was my friendly reminder because Y'all know, for those who's in the work business or, you know, the business of answering your phone, and, and it's not that I'm even on call, right? But sometimes, it, oh, oh, okay, all right, I'll come right in. Oh, okay, I'll go ahead and handle it, put them on the phone. I'll talk them down, talk her down, mm -hmm. et cetera. And next thing you know, it turned into a work day, right? Yeah. So the resistance is the Sabbath will tell you if you are really free or not. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we do need those friendly reminders. All right, bros and bros. So now I'm going to read to you the book of Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter, verses 12 through 15. And it says this, check this out. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy as the Lord your God has commanded you. You have six days each week for your ordinary work. But the Sabbath day is a Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. And that is why that's that eureka moment that you guys been looking for. That is why, bros and bros, we are to obey God and reverence God by obeying the Sabbath. Wow. There it is right there, bros and bros, right? Um, so I'm going to continue here. Uh, do, 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 day of the Sabbath day, uh, rest dedicated to the Lord, uh, your God. Okay. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. 
That includes washing dishes, vacuuming floors. No, I'm just <laughs> y'all get it right. But no, check this out, bros and bros. Seriously, uh, on that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, your oxen and donkeys, and other livestock, and any foreigners living among you. All your male and female servants must rest as you do. Remember that you were once slaves in Egypt, but God, woo, but God brought you out with his strong hand and powerful arm. Bros and bros, I gotta read that again. Check this out. Remember that you were once slaves in Egypt, but God, the Lord your God, brought you out with his strong hand and powerful arm. This is why the Lord your God has commanded you to rest on the Sabbath day bros and bros what because god is actually talking to egypt because egypt was once slaves mm -hmm. right uh i'm not egypt <laughs> Oh. God was talking to the Israelites because the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. I need the rest. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. I'm good. Yeah, because see, the Israelites was once slaves in Egypt. You see what I'm saying? So God is like, hey, y'all were once slaves. I rescued you guys and brought you out from the muck and the miry clay and now you guys can rest so make sure you also have your servants and your bond servants to also rest how does that um how does that match with uh, modern day times as i shared earlier you take that day and rest and you give it to god right mm -hmm. don't go working on the car don't go do all of these other things if you don't have to you should just rest right so what we're doing now once we're done with this we're going home and right and now you know of course i, I joke jokingly say rest by sleeping but rest meaning with that that you normally do in that work week you're not doing you should be resting giving reverence to god it doesn't mean all right i can start my second job or i can do something else right it, it's it's a day at the job we call it a day of reflection right mm. pretty much the same thing what God's saying this is a day of reflection reflect on what I've done for you right because you know you're you're at work you're focused on work can you give me oh this is deep can you give me one day oh god I know we can give God more than one day y'all mm. can you give me one day and that's the Sabbath man bros and bros but y'all heard it nobody is to work on the sabbath so whatever your sabbath is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday whichever one please take that day to rest and reflect on god's goodness that he has brought you out of a situation or situations right and have blessed you and put you into places that only god can mm -hmm. right all right so another thing the pastor said about the word resistance is that it reveals feelings and not only does it reveal feelings, but it also reveals control. Now, this is a new one for me, bros and bros. I'm sure you guys probably heard this before. He also mentioned FOPO. I was like, FOPO? What is FOPO? F-O-P-O, -O, right? And bros and bros, that is fear of people's opinion. Mm. Wow, bros and bros, it's fear of people's opinion. This is why sometimes we say yes when we're off should be enjoying the Sabbath. This is why we sometimes pick up the phone and say we'll go to work and we'll do this and we'll do that. Because the fear of people's opinion if you say no. Mm -hmm. But here it is. All right. I want to help you out with this, bros and broets. You saying no on the Sabbath is saying yes to God on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. There you go. Can you come in? No. Boom. You said yes to God, hey, I'm going to follow your will and obey the Sabbath. And then this is God, right? He's commanding us to rest, right? Your rest could be sleep. Your rest could be just relaxing. Your rest can be taking care of. That could be your moment also of self-care. You have the Sabbath to do so, right? All right, check this out, bros and bros. In closing, Henry Ford, right? Check out Henry Ford. If you guys don't know who Henry Ford is, look him up on Google. Awesome guy. He's the inventor of Ford vehicles. I actually love his product. I actually have a Ford truck. Man, I absolutely love Ford trucks. But he's not just known for inventing cars. Henry Ford also invented the 40-hour work week, right? 
check this out. Henry Ford observed his work staff and he noticed they were putting in a lot of hours and plus he was paying them $5 a day. So being that he observed that they were putting in a lot of hours, he also noticed they became very lackadaisical, became tired, sleeping on the job. So he came up with the 40 hour work week to give them two days off to recuperate. How awesome is that? And years later, approximately 19, now this was 1926, I believe. Now, 1939 or 1940, our former president Roosevelt actually signed a bill for the, uh, 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 the labor workforce to implement that 40 hour work week. Now, although he signed the bill for 44 hours a week, it was later reduced to 40 hours a week. How awesome is that? Why? Now, he may not have been focused on the Sabbath uh, to obey the Lord. It was more so observing, um, uh, as I shared, his employees and how they were just kind of like, you know, being lackadaisical and things of that matter. But I tell you someone who did. Truett Cathy. Awesome dude. Everyone loved him, especially everyone that's in church. Why? <laughs> because he's the owner of Chick-fil-A, right? Man, Truett Cathy is an awesome guy. And guess what? In 1946... He implemented the same thing, but this is this wasn't to uh, mirror Henry Ford. Truett did it to obey God. Mm -hmm. Truett says, you know what? I want the entire staff to be off on Sunday to give reverence to God. What? Like, bros and bros, who does that? I can name a plethora of restaurants that are not doing that. But Chick-fil-A, the owner of Chick-fil-A, True Kathy says, we're going to have Sundays off to reverence God so he can be obedient to God, right? Because this industry is all about profit, 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 gain, gain, gain. Who says something about Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath? <laughs> no one says anything about that, right? They are a multi-billion dollar company that takes Sundays off. What? And then right before Truett died, he asked his son, Dan Cathy, to continue the legacy. And matter of fact, what he was saying in, in essence, son, continue to obey God. And what he did is just to make sure he obeyed God, he would had him to sign a contract that he would also continue to make sure that every employee is off on Sundays and the business is closed on Sundays. So in 2013, Dan took over his ownership and everything stayed the same. What do you mean stay the same? Everyone continues to obey God. Mm -hmm. And we wonder why Chick-fil-A profits and so blessed and they're closed on Sunday. A restaurant that's open six days a week is the number one and number two food chain in the industry. What? Only God, but God, by God. Oh, talk to me, y'all. Hey, dab it up. No. <laughs> so bros and bros, man, the Sabbath, God takes that serious, so serious, he commanded it. It's a command from God. So listen, obey the Sabbath, keep it holy. And if you can, man, put, put some discipline. This ain't my phone, by the way. This is my wife's phone. <laughs> so we get the sermon notes off her phone because mine's, for whatever reason, just don't pick it up. But you know, just give yourself some discipline, bros and bros. At so least go start a good three hours screen free. Mm -hmm. Then go six hours screen free. I don't know, possibly 24 hours screen free. You know, what do you mean? Social media, social media. And y'all know me. I don't even have an Instagram account. I mean, for my YouTube channel, I, I upload, what, two videos a week? So I was um like, I, I'm not addicted to this screen, to God be the glory. I was actually uh, at home one day and I was like, Man, about two, three hours went by. And I said, babe, you got my phone? She was like, no. I was like, where's my phone? My phone on my motorcycle in the garage. Y'all ever did that when you got off your bike, you forget to grab your phone? But that was pretty good. I kind of pat myself on the back for that because, you know, I could have been one of them people like every two, three minutes, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Panicking. Ah! Right? Mm -hmm. So give yourself some screen discipline. But other than that, bros and bros, y'all stay blessed. Obey the Sabbath. Jesus loves you. And we do too. Blessings.